the White Hat Mastermind Show, episode number one. Uh, basically, what this podcast is about is teaching you the best WordPress plugins and marketing tools that you can use to run your business on a daily basis. So what I'm going to do is just jump right into it and show you the first cool plugin that we have to offer. Take care. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the White Hat Mastermind Show, where we give you step-by-step -step training on today's best WordPress plugins and marketing tools to grow your business. business, business. And now, here's your host, Seth Riley. Seth Riley. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a beautiful and professional looking login page for your WordPress website. Now the first thing we need to do is open up a new tab and go to Google. And just search for A5 custom login. And then click on that first link you see there where it says WordPress A5 custom login pages. Now what you need to do is just grab uh, the zip file right here, download it onto your computer and close out that tab. Come back over to your WordPress installation or your WordPress admin panel and install the plugin here. And once you've activated the plugin, you just want to scroll down to appearance, A5 custom login page. And we're going to start here up at the body. Now the first thing we need to do is add a custom logo to the login page. And the way we're going to do that is by scrolling over to your media bin. If you haven't added your logo there, go ahead and do that now. And then resize it to the size you prefer. So now what I got to do is find my logo real fast. Give me one second. Okay, here it is. Alright, here's my uh, custom logo that I designed. And over here you can see the dimensions of your logo. And if you need to make changes to that, you can just edit the image right there and then click on uh, scale the image and then you can scale it to the size you prefer. But I've already done this, so what I'm gonna do is just grab the file URL right here and scroll back down to appearance, A5 custom login page. And all I'm gonna do is insert the URL right here where it says logo URL and then you can link your, um, your logo to your main website. I'm just gonna grab that URL right there and paste it here. And then you can add a, uh, a title tag for it. For this, it's gonna be White Hat Mastermind. Okay, then you wanna set the width and height of your logo. If you can remember the dimensions, you just add them here. Mine was 375 by 75 high. And this determines the width of the logo container. So you want to make it the same as your logo dimensions. And then you have the margin of the logo container. Okay. And basically, if you read over here, it'll just tell you that you need this little snippet of code right here. And you want to grab that and paste it in where it says margin. And then. I'm just going to set uh, set it to negative 60 pixels, and then uh, the styling of, of the logo, you can choose to have round corners, shadowing, or whatever, and then you can choose the color of the shadowing here. I'm not going to mess with that, because I really actually, I like the WordPress login page, but I just want to customize it a little bit more and match the colors with my site. You can add a background picture, picture to the body. Or for this application, we're just going to add a background color. That looks good. You can do a gradient, secondary background color if you prefer. And then you can set the size if you're using like an image or something. And then you just want to click Save Changes. We're going to click back over here. It's always a good rule of thumb to open up a new tab and have your WP login page in a new tab. That way you can come back over here and easily refresh it. So we're going to refresh now. Okay, as you can see, we darkened up the background and we've added our logo. It's still off center a little bit, so I'm going to scroll back over here and make this drop it in half to 30 pixels, negative 30 pixels. We'll refresh and come back over here. 
Okay, and as you can see, the logo is pretty centered. That's good enough for me. I'm not going to worry about uh, being a perfectionist too much. And you don't want to worry about that either. You just want to make it look good and professional. So we're going to scroll back over here and click on the login container. Now you can add a background picture here for the login container or a background color. And if you added a color to the login container, what it's going to do is it's going to wrap the login form right here in like a container and it'll be long it'll it'll go all the way to the top I'll do that just to show you real fast if you wanted to do something like this you could I'm not gonna worry too much about these settings one thing I do want to make sure I do is uh, make the text white because we're doing a dark login page but you can choose to mess around and customize this stuff any way you'd like. Then we're going to save the changes and scroll back over here and refresh. As you can see, it added a. It makes the login form look a little bit longer. So if you wanted to, you could change the the actual login form, the same color as the container, and it would it would look nothing like the original WordPress login page. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I just wanted to show you this option real fast. And I'm going to scroll back down here and save the changes. And now I'm going to go click on login form. Now this is the actual form that we're editing here. You can add a background image. I'm just going to do a background color again. Make it a little bit darker than the actual background of the login page. You can do a gradient or whatever. I'm just going to make the text white because it is a dark background. And then the, let's do some shadowing. I'm just going to set it to 0x direction and 0y direction. Basically, depending on what you put here, let's say you put uh, 10 pixels, it would shift the shadow 10 pixels off the form in that direction but we're just going to keep it a nice consistent shadow all the way around the form and then you can add a softening effect to it we're just going to put uh, 10 for that and then the background color of the shadow is going to be black and we're just going to click on save changes then come back over here and refresh the login page as you can see we have a really nice looking login page so far uh, I don't really need to edit the button or the color of the links because they go well with my theme and my colors. But if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, also, uh, when you uh, misspell your, uh, your password or username, you'll get a notification box right here. And those are going to pop up in white. So we want to make sure to uh, have those like a dark text color so they're noticeable and uh, customers and your viewers can can read it properly but like I said if you wanted to mess with the button you could do that right here that's not a problem so we're gonna click on messages and input fields now we're gonna make the color uh, black and you can customize each message field the logout message the error message and the input uh, field I'm just going to do black text on all these. And I'm not really going to worry too much about uh, the rest of the stuff. I'm going to pretty much keep it the same. And then I'm going to hit save changes. You, like I said at the bottom of the login page right here where it says links and you can choose to change the color of the links and the hover color as well. If you, just by clicking on links right here and there's quite a few options here for you to check out you can even add a shadowing effect to the, the links if you prefer if it goes well with your theme also if you have another website and you have a5 custom login installed on multiple sites you can go to import and export and basically you can just 
copy in the code from your other form and bring it over to this site. So let's say you're doing a site for a client and you need to install the plugin real fast and set up their custom login page. Well, you can import all your settings for the custom login uh, right here. There's also a debug feature. I'm not going to mess with that right now. But let's just go back over here to the form real fast and refresh it. Make sure it looks good. All right, let's just um, type in some junk real fast so you can see the error message. Now we're going to try to log in. Okay, and as you can see, an error message pops up. And I did make this text black so it's noticeable. So we have a really nice looking professional login form for my site here. If we click back over to my site, you can see it matches really well. Um, it doesn't show that it's WordPress related at all. Uh, people are really going to be impressed and like it. I would suggest that you add a, a custom login page to your website if you're trying to brand your company or yourself. You want to get noticed by other people and you want people to realize who you are and, and also you want them to to uh, rely on your services and trust you. So this is just a great option for that. Thank you for watching this tutorial and have a good night. Take care. Thanks for tuning in to the White Hat Mastermind Show. You can check us out at www.whitehatmastermind.com.